Yeah. So, Michelle, yeah, straight to the point. It's Black History Month. We all know oh, what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know our topic today is going to be touching on the Black Lives Matters movement. Mm. And, um, well, over the couple of years, yeah, I feel like Black History Month has changed. Because when I was in school, I didn't hear much about it. Mm. Did you? I'm not, I, I, I don't want to say my age, but there's <laughs> nothing that I can recall yeah. about Black History Month. And that actually worries me a little bit. Because I think, okay, so what did we have at school? We had Ari, yep. we had history. Yep, geography. And, well, forget geography. Oh, okay, geography would actually That would touch, that should be able to touch on. History of yeah. how, you know, the world was made, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. But um, I can't remember in class. I can't even remember Black History Month in school. I can't. I, can I think I discovered it in college. I honestly, and like I said, maybe it's my age. I don't know. I, I literally just can't. I think what I did say yeah. is that obviously I've got a nine-year-old. Yeah. And, um, you know, we live in a predominantly white area. So she's nine. She's just started year five. Yeah. And um, I know the last couple of years, yeah. they've done something for black history. So what they've mm. done was an assembly. Mm. And I'm a bit like, our <laughs> history. <laughs> our, but No, but it's a reality. Our history cannot fit in. An so hour, an twenty minute, thirty minute assembly, and I think that's poor. So uh, let me ask you a question: Did they do a skip, a skip, like a little skip play? No, I honestly, honestly, I'm not there, am I? I don't know. But oh, because I'm a working person. No, my, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm a working mum. But what, what my daughter? No, it's an assembly for the kids. You know, so it's yeah. a class assembly or a year assembly. But what my daughter has come back. You know, she's learnt about Rosa Parks. She's learnt about back of the Martin bus. Luther King. Yeah. She's learnt about, um, you know, significant black people in the American civil rights movement. Okay. Um, if I'm thinking about it now, honestly, for the first time, I haven't heard her learn anything about black British history. Okay. Which is really interesting now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. that actually um, we've okay. had a movement here as well. Yeah. Okay. So basically, oh, because I know we've, we've, we've spoke about this already. Mm. Well, in, well, in the same recording anyway, we've already said that... Um, we had the Windrush generation. Mm -hmm. And to be quite honest with you, yeah, I didn't know about, I know this is going to sound really ignorant, yeah, but I didn't know about the Windrush generation till they started to... Tell me, a year, two years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah till the they started to, to yeah, get rid yeah. of them. To be yeah, saying, you've got to go I, back home. I don't know if it is because and we I think are that's of like African. Order. No, yeah. no, but I think, it, is it, I don't know if it's because we're African, maybe if we were Caribbean, because my mm. understanding is that the majority of the people in the Windrush, it was from the Caribbean. Yeah. But I've, I'd have read somewhere that actually there were Africans yeah. and other... Um, other nations that, that were, were that were in, part yeah. that were brought in, yeah, 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 you know. Yeah. So it is really um, interesting that actually, what I like I said, I can't recall learning anything about Black British history. Well, <laughs> you know, this is gonna sound really wrong. I should. If it's gonna say really wrong, don't say it. <laughs> if it's gonna say really wrong, don't say it. <laughs> Maybe because you didn't hear about. <laughs> Because what? You didn't hear about black black Africans because there was no reggae music at the time from Africa. Oh my God. They didn't have Burner Boy representing Africa. Ignore her, please do. <laughs> Ignore her, please do. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It is just weird. Because like, like I said, it's, it's rich. As I'm talking to you now, yeah, you're this is the first time it. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, okay. Where was, where is black British history taught? Yeah. And what did we know? I think... When I uh, when I look at it, I see that a lot of um, a lot of Caribbeans make up Black British history. Mm. I'm not saying it's right because there are you know a lot of African nations that were mm -hmm. part of that movement, even though it's not spoken of. Mm. Yeah, but I think um, what, what the questions are, we've answered this already, or we've spoken about it. But what can we do, what can be done differently? You've got a child who's in school. So, like I said to you, so with with me and a mum, another mm -hmm. um, black female mum, yeah. we've got together and we are in the process of setting something up for Black History Month in my well, daughter's this year, school. Yeah? yeah, this year, this year, twenty twenty. Yeah. So, me and this mum, we're gonna go in and do like cane rolls for their hair. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. What we are going to do is... So I'm not, I'm not going to hate you. No. Black history... Michelle, you haven't even got... you got straight hair. Oh, please. Don't yeah. even go there, You come with straight hair sometimes, so, yeah? I'm ripping. For the time being, for the last two weeks, three weeks. I'm ripping. Yeah. Anyway, and that's, maybe that's a subject to discuss. My life changed since I 2020. Oh, please. You'll be back to your wig, Sandra and Lisa, within <laughs> a week or two. So let's not pretend. Play Anyhow. My hair. You know, but there is that thing of... Actually, black history, yeah. you know, 
what, because I've got a straight weave, what, yeah. as a dark skinned black woman, am I not entitled to talk about black history? Of course you can. I think, I think, yeah. I, I, don't, even think it's, I don't even think it's about hair because I, I, I like that statement says that says I'm not my hair. That's it. I think for me, I wanted to see, when I was growing up, I didn't see as much um, about black history as I did mm. when um, I, I didn't see it. But when I look at America, Mm-hmm. I see like it's all over the shop floor. Yeah, it's yeah. popping at the It's moment. just like, you know. But is that at the moment now? Or no, has this been historically? It, has it always been look, about? I learned, I, I'm sure I'm, I've said this already. Yeah, I learned about Rosa Parks yeah, through Sister Sister. <laughs> that's deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I was watching Sister Sister, that's yeah, when I learned about yeah, Rosa Parks. Yeah. 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 I, I can't remember what that episode it was. Yeah, I'm sure some of you have seen it. Yeah. But I didn't know about it. But yeah. is that because then the civil rights movement was in obviously America. in America? Yeah, but is it? Then I can argue like um, there's been movements here, but know, have they I been know, suppressed? I know, I know. So obviously for me, I'm looking back and say maybe in the last five, six years, I'm just even I've learned about the Brixton riots. Okay. You know, yeah. so that was a significant. The last six years. Part. No, that I've learnt about the no, 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 not the bricks and riots, the recent ones. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm I'll talking about you. the bricks and riots, the original ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying to you, have you learnt that in the last six years? Yes, yes. And do you that's think school and education no. could have played a different role in you knowing that information while you're still there? They should have done, I believe. Yeah, they should so, have done. Yeah. So what, what I'm saying is, yeah, can we get a little bit more into the schools? Because I don't think a month they to celebrate be. or to, to, I don't even think just like every day. We said this already. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Every day I celebrate every life. Mm. Every day I celebrate mm-hmm. every culture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every time I walk down to go and grab my local Indian, I'm celebrating the flavors mm-hmm. that have come from India. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every day I go down the pie and mash shop, I'm celebrating the, the Irish pie potato. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the liquor. <laughs> And every day, I want it to be that we celebrate what it is to be black mm. and the contribution being black has made to the society. Mm. And like I've said before, guys, yeah, I'm not maybe the most like, oh, here we go, pro-black, pro-black person. Mm. Some people might want me to be more, yeah. Mm. But I would like to see a representation of being black every day because and you know what, yeah? British culture is part of being black. Yeah. Yeah, being black... In- some people have never been back to their own countries mm. or the countries of origin. This who's, is whose fault is that? Hey, that's, that's a choice. Thing. Yeah, I think I think for me it's down yeah. to parenting. Yeah, and for me, you know, it's about what you instill in your children. Yeah. So for me, I was born here. My mum was born here. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's a bit sad. I didn't get to go back to Nigeria. Yeah. I went for the first time. I swear when we were at uni. Yeah, we were at uni, yeah. And that was my first time. So I was yeah. in my early 20s yeah. when I first went to my country of origin. Yeah. And it wasn't even with my family. No, well, no, no. I went with my uncles and aunts, yeah. funny enough, but not with my, my parents, Rich, basically. Yeah. I didn't go back to so, um, chicken of my mum originally as well. Oh, really? No. So you went with friends? I went with my sister and a couple of our friends. Those yeah. of us went out there. We just went to boogie down. Uh, but that's what happened. So <laughs> yeah. literally, I went for the first time with fam- like family uncles and aunts that were similar age to me yeah but i went and i loved it so much i went for like three years at christmas and yeah, i just loved yeah, it so yeah, much it's but a vibe. you know i think that there there is something about parents trying to instill a i don't want to say i don't know if the word's proudness or a yeah. a self-respect and a self-awareness of who a child is and where they come from okay let me just bring it back here because like it's, it's Black History Month. We're talking about it. It's everywhere. You're seeing it on your timelines, I guess, guys. Mm. Um, I'll tell you who's been doing a lot for the movement. I don't even want to call it a movement. But who keeps on bringing um, blackness to the forefront and who's really inspirational in this time, in, in this generation. Some people might not agree with me. Some people might. I think Beyonce is doing a lot. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Some people are going to no, say, no, listen no, to what I'm saying. No. Listen to what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> I know it's an American thing or whatever. Some Americans have taken like um, the whole going back home. No. And we had the return. Do you, the know, I was, return. do you know, I got my hair done on Thursday last week. Yeah. This same straight, lovely weave that you're seeing here. Yeah. This lovely assemble. And we were discussing in the hairdressers. There was me, my Caribbean hairdresser. And shout out to Pinky. Um, Pinky and, toes. <laughs> and there was a Nigerian girl who was getting her extensions done. She was with her mate. And then the lady that was doing it was a black French African lady. Yeah. And one of them tried to say, yeah, Beyonce's done so much. And I think I just kind of lost it. Yeah. I don't rate Beyonce. What? I, Let me finish. Yeah. Other than singing all these songs and dropping in a couple of Afrobeats artists on her music, yeah. 
what has she done for Nigeria? What has she, let me be specific to Nigeria because that's what I said actually because yeah. I can't even talk for Africa. Yeah. But I was saying to myself, I said to them, when did she last do a concert in Nigeria? When did she last try and make any money in Nigeria? Well, we've got she to take savage. To, she, I'll tell you, she went in 2003. Yeah, that's the last time she went to Nigeria. Yeah, yeah? she's been to South Africa. I'm, I, like I said, I can't even speak for all of Africa okay. as a continent. I hear what you're saying. But yeah. I feel that she is making money off of. because Africa is in at the moment. Okay, I, 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 don't, I, I don't feel I, I, I doing anything that. I get that, I get that, I get that, I get that. And I think a lot of people had that same I issue. I thought you were going to say Stormzy and you come out with Beyonce. Okay, Bloody yeah. Beyonce. But Stormzy is of African origin. And yeah, we know and, that, he's yeah. Doing, and he's and doing, he's doing so things. much. And I rate yeah. Stormzy and I love what he's doing, yeah. We're well, sending like, people to yeah. uni, getting cartoons out in school. Yeah, yeah, And what's yeah. Beyonce? Tell me, what? sorry, let me let you finish. What is Beyonce doing? Listen, Please. what I'm trying to say is this, yeah. Beyonce is... As much as what you're saying that, you know, she's taking, she's reaping from yeah, Africa. Yeah, she, she's making being, money. Making money. But I feel like she's... Cultural appropriation. That's what I call it. Well, that's what they call it nowadays. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. I said, it. I said it. If anybody knows about me and Beyonce, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> I'm upsetting her soul I'm right so now. Hey, I'm yeah. literally looking at a signed oh, hey. Beyonce CD right oh, in front of me. Yeah. That is in the centre of, yeah. of, of oh, Schiller's hey. premises. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mounted hey. on the walls. Oh, hey. <laughs> Me and Beyonce are friends, you know. I know, your cousin from America. <laughs> hey, I don't even okay, know Okay, but tell us, what has she done though? Honestly, What I'm trying us. to explain is this, yeah. I think she's, some people are able to make solid changes, yeah. Mm. Some people awaken the world mm. to seeing what we're seeing. And it's a shame, and I'll say it, yeah, that it's taken somebody that is not of that origin properly, yeah, I don't want to say Ooh, that. Who, yeah. Beyonce, not of African origin. She's, 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 she's African origin, but yeah. you know what I mean? She's more American-based, whatever, yeah, yeah? Yeah, That Okay, if it was maybe somebody like, um, who can we say? Naomi Give me Campbell. A, I wouldn't even say Naomi Campbell, Naomi's yeah. Naomi's more in Africa, yeah, more in Nigeria Naomi's more in Africa, yeah, we get that, yeah. But give me an artist, yeah, who's always been like... Um, Pro-African, Pro Stormzy? Af Storm, no, give me, give me somebody else, yeah. Um, I'm not going to say Erica, somebody who's always been that earthy oh, person. Oh, like Erica Badu, um, Jill Scott. Akon. Akon. Okay, Akon. Because yeah, Akon's yeah. Akon. And that's what I said in the hairdressers. Look yeah. at what he's doing for Africa. Yeah, Akon's actually, Akon's actually been doing things for Africa. Mm. I'm sure he's building a, building a whole he's city. He's building a city. Yeah. He's giving them electricity. Yeah, he's been doing so much for Africa. Yeah. It's a shame that it didn't take that person who's been doing it for many years, yeah, to bring Africa to the forefront of what it is now. Sorry, so Listen, are you trying to say Beyonce is bringing Africa to the forefront of Listen, what it is now. No, what I'm trying to say is this, yeah. Not. Let's be honest, yeah. Beyonce reaches more audiences than yeah. a lot than a lot of people. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. When Beyonce's doing something, everybody kind of like stands up and watches. I don't. Akon's been Michelle. You live in Surrey, bro. Yeah. I don't even think you have people but around I don't, you. I, do you. Are have you cable? trying to tell them that? So Africa is on the forefront because of no, Beyonce. No, I'm not saying that. Yeah. Oh, but what I'm saying okay. for this generation, a lot of people have been ignorant. Yeah. To what Africa has been. Me and you have known about Akon for it's years. It's because you're a Beyonce lover that you're telling me I'm this. I'm not a Beyonce lover. Let Come me on. ask the audience, please, please get back to us. Because I'm thinking, I'm, I'm looking not, at our audience as you're, well, you're, yeah? The thing is, yeah, there are people in this audience. That yeah, rate Beyonce. That rate Beyonce. There are people that don't. I've rolled my eyes. Yeah. I haven't rolled no, my no, no. eyes. Sorry, sir. Let me just say, I don't, I, I do rate Beyonce because this is what I said in the hairdressers. Her work rate is second to none. I'm not even talking about her work rate. I'm talking, okay, look, yeah, put it this way. Let me give you an analogy, yeah? In school, remember being in school, were you cool in school? Yeah, no, 5%, 6%, 4%. Okay, it, <laughs> went, from, it went from 5 to 6, back to 4. four yeah. Out of 10, 4%. Uh, okay. I was in, but not really in, in. Okay, remember in school, there was always that one kid, yeah? Mm. If they had the outfit on, the Everybody outfit, everyone had bangs, it, yeah? yeah? But and then you, who's a 4, could wear it, and it's just like, oh, okay, mm. Michelle's got it. Yeah, meh. Meh, meh, meh. I don't meh. need to buy it. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> That's the kind of thing I'm trying to say to you. Yeah, I feel like for this generation, not for us, because remember, we're a little bit older. Mm. For, the, for the social media generation, mm. for the people that are drawn to social media, yeah, who don't have, who haven't had the time to go out and seek out what's really good. She's, they, put, what, she's put Africa on the she, map for them. For them, not for us. And she hasn't put Africa on the map for me. My yeah, eyes are Because rolling. man's been in Africa for a long time. I said man's because like, I'm on road, you know, and I'm really, I'm not. Because I'm, I really don't even know. And you're not a man. I am not a man, yeah. And I, do, I, don't, I don't even know what's on the roads, really. Yeah. But, but I, I don't know. I, I, I don't yeah. know if what I'm saying makes sense. Yeah. It's just I like, hear what you're saying, that she's brought Africa to the and, forefront and of certain people's... And I don't agree with it. Mm. I don't agree that that's the way social media has played things out. Because 
Africa has been a gold mine exactly. from day dot. Uh-huh. Do you see what, do you see what I'm trying to say? From before day dot. From before day dot, yeah. Everything, everything came from there, yeah. Mm. Believe it or not, it is what it is, yeah. I had a joke once, yeah, that the Queen even eats food from, from Uganda, specifically. People don't I love know. that tumbleweed. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I hope that tumbleweed yeah. went people everywhere. Even, people don't even know about that, yeah, but I'm giving you history lessons here. You said yeah? it's a joke. Yeah. I'm the teacher that needs to be in your classrooms. You just said I had a yeah. joke that the Queen uh, eats food uh, from Uganda. I raise it. It's not even a joke, it's the facts. Yeah. Even Idi Amin in his videos showed it, sending the Queen food. Idi Amin? Brendan. Yeah. Last King of Scotland. You know about I know it. that. I know about yeah. that. People don't even know these things yet. I'm the teacher you need in your schools. That's all I'm saying. Shields. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Shields, yeah. <laughs> no, but I know we're arguing about the Beyonce effect, but I honestly think, yeah, as much as you might not agree with what I've said, mm. and a lot of people won't maybe. I but, don't. But I feel like that level of celebrity, yeah, has shown light to certain people that weren't mm. looking that way. So I agree with that, but yeah. I don't think she's done anything for... I'm not saying... Well, I don't even she's know. She's shone light. I'm I, I, I can saying, agree that she's shone light yeah, on. Yeah, I don't even know Beyonce's um, private affairs. Mm. And I don't want to be you, Have you seen the, the Black is King? I haven't seen it yet. Have you seen it? Well, you know, hmm, it's an interesting visual. Really? I it's haven't a, seen it yet. It's an interesting visual. And I think um, it brings out a lot of the African culture. But some people agreed with it. Some people didn't. Some people look I've at... I've seen a couple of stills from it. And that's what I didn't agree with. In yeah. her in all her African attire, yeah. it's like a costume. And yeah. for me, that costume is my culture. That's not her when, culture. We're, we're even coming off topic. You know, this month we want to concentrate on people that mm. have really made real changes and real history. So Stormzy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's the truth because I love him, man. I love Stormzy. I swear to God, yeah. I love him. I love Stormzy. I love, I love Big everything Mike, he's yeah. about. Yeah. I love his energy. Mm. You know, there's nothing about Stormzy that I don't actually love. Mm. I love, and I love Burner Boy. Oh, I do love... People say he's got a bit of attitude, but me, I love that attitude. No, I anyway. just like... You know, I love yeah. the African giant. African giant. Yeah, I love he's the bringing African... bringing it back. He's, yeah. He, and that's what and he's say. been original from he's the original day dot. He's and yeah. he's giving back. Yeah, I, I like... Obviously, but I'm not going to talk on it and say Beyonce isn't giving back because I don't know what her affairs are. Do you know what I mean? I can't say that All she's I not giving say she's back. All I can say she's making money. Michelle, yeah. Let me ask you a question. She hasn't been to the country. Let me ask you a question, what, what year yeah? we in? 17 you, years. Let me ask you a question, yeah. Do you go to church? Occasionally. Yeah. Are you a Christian? Yeah, I would say. All right, cool. Yeah, do you give tithe an offering? Offering, occasionally tithe. Offering, yeah. Do you give tithe? Occasionally, yeah. Occasionally, I'll give 10%, but where I'm not a regular churchgoer, so yeah. I can't sit here and say, yeah, every month I give tithe. But you're still influential to the church? At times, yeah. Okay, so Beyonce is still influential to Africa. How? Though? She hasn't been in 2003. What? Just because like she, to, because she does a yeah. video... No, I mean, And she wears African cult songs, we, 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 and she brings in a few African we artists. We don't know... We I swear, even in one of her songs, it sounds like she's got a bit of an African accent that she's trying to put on. And I'm just trying to say, yeah. Why are we no, no, but Beyonce? listen, 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 yeah. If that was a white person, would it be okay? Didn't you see Adele over the summer when she put on a Jamaican bikini and people lost lost their heads? Do you know what? If she was a white person, what would you say? You wouldn't, yeah, tumbleweed. I would say we're going into commercial break. Come back <laughs> after the break. <laughs> Yeah, when we break it down, when we break it down, just because she's a black American, yeah. and I agree that, you know, all black people, I do agree I'm one of them ones, we all originate from Africa, yeah. but just because she's got our skin tone and she throws on a couple of headdresses and some outfits, oh, gets in a few... On, Afri- because, well, this is what we see. Like you said, there may be other stuff that she's doing that I'm They're not aware doing of. There's a lot of things. There may... No, no, I, and do you know what? This is what I said to the people in the hairdresser. Yeah. I think her and Jay-Z are amazing. I know they're doing a lot on prison reform. Yeah. They're, they're, they're doing a lot for prisoners who have been wrongly convicted yeah. in America. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. But like I said, what is she doing for... I don't want to say Africa because I want to keep it to Nigeria. Yeah, but what is she doing for our... What is she doing for our culture? She may be doing stuff behind the scenes. I don't know. Beyonce, please, Ola, let us know. Yeah? Beyonce... Of, of all due respect, yeah. Please don't yeah. let us know. Please, of all due respect, Beyonce, understand that I, Shilla, yeah, I stand by you, yeah. And I, <laughs> I do. I, listen, let me give my disclaimer. Oh, my God. Yeah, Beyonce, yeah, for me, it's love, you get me, yeah. And um, it's, it's, it's love to yeah. a certain degree, you know. I'm not hating. Beyonce, I, I respect her, re- here, her work rate. Anybody on Beyonce's payroll... Please tell her it's love yeah. from Shilla. From Shilla with love. From coffee, always. coffee morning laughter is love. Yeah, you know what I'm like me, I'm Black like, History Mum. Black History Mum. <laughs> Let's month, take yeah. it back. <laughs> Let's take it back. Sorry, guys. This is going to be a different debate altogether. 
But in what we're saying is this, yeah. I want to see beyond this month. Mm, yeah. Beyond this month. It's yeah. important. I think it needs to be in the curriculum. All year round. Yeah, so like all... I said, if we look at history and you know, geography, we're religious about, education. We're talking about things like um, throughout the whole year, we celebrate a lot of Asian... Asian um, culture. Based culture, yeah. events. We, we do se- food, yeah, we, we do clothing, religion. It comes yeah. into different... So Aspects, when, we, when we do yeah. history, or sorry, when we do geography, we learn a bit about Egypt. Yeah, yeah, I get that. And we learn about the Sahara Desert and, you know, the, you know some parts of North Africa. Yeah. But actually, whenever do we hear about, like, what Nigeria? Really, yeah. When Why do I hear about... Nigeria? Because well, I'm Nigerian. Let me speak for my people. But what we hear, what we hear about, though... Do you, know what I, do you know what I think, though? Yeah, this is going to sound a bit controversial, controversial, yeah? I don't think we hear so much about what happened in Africa through our history lessons mm. because of possibly... The people um, delivering. The people delivering it, first of all. But maybe what it carries, because it hasn't always been a positive image. But the truth Like slavery, etc., etc. Et yeah, but there's slavery. But I always... They, they no, be and, saying and it, not, there's not, more to our history yeah, than no, slavery. No, I, I hear that. Yeah, I hear that. And yeah. the thing is, yeah, that's what... I feel like it's... I feel like it's a bit of a taboo. Because mm. you, you're you always going to have that student in class who's going to ask more questions than they need to deal do, with the, it. And, and but I don't think some teachers or I don't think some schools are ready to deal with that realness. But they have yeah. to. And I know they because have to. Because that's where ignorance but and that's where I feel like racism it's, it's and discrimination easier, breeds it's from. It's easier to tell a fairy tale than tell a horror story. Mm. But then again, I still say there is more to, to black it. history yeah, I think than slavery. I want to know, yeah. You know what? We should we should set a challenge. We should set a challenge for this month, yeah? Mm-hmm. That um, we want the listeners to send us in um historians black historians that have made an impact in british society mm. that would be interesting that, that would be, be interesting do you yeah, know what i mean amazing, what we yeah. want to do is want to want to like post up somebody yeah. on our timeline or our story or mm. on different the different, different different um the different um social, social media, media outlets so that people can be educated a little bit more because mm. i think for me it's lack of education and if it's not in your face you don't really know representation matters. yeah oh this is it representation matters yeah so if we can get the listeners who know more about this this particular topic please do send in send in bits and pieces let us know you know obviously like every every single recording that we do we want feedback yeah yeah, we want to know what are you doing I know we've said it already but what, I'm asking it again what are you doing for Black History Month yeah and what are you looking to be done for you because mm-hmm. some of you a lot of you have children yeah and if, if you're not a black listener and you listen to us um, what would you like to see and how can mm-hmm. we make it better mm-hmm. or how, how can you what, what kind of changes can we do can we make um, or can we put in place really because I don't know I never saw it growing up to that extent I can't remember all I can remember yeah. of what black history was in school was more about slavery yeah and that's why um, people are calling people names in the playground like Baba Tunde so Not that's Baba some Tunde. that's somebody's name but they were, t- they were taking the yeah, mickey out yeah, of it yeah. because of using what they using it as a slur u- using it as a slur because of what they had learnt in class mm. or somebody called Baba Tunde etc etc mm. and it's just like come on there's more to it's so there's much more, more much more to it so, so much I think more. As much as America has its own issues, we're not Americans, so we can't really comment on that. But I feel like black history in America... The civil rights movement, and that's yeah, what it was. Yeah, and that's what it was, you know. Yeah. Rosa Parks, get on the back of the bus. No, I won't get on the back of the bus. Yeah, I'm going to sit mm-hmm. here. Martin Luther King doing what he did. Malcolm mm-hmm. X, do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. There's so many other names. Like the Rose... The Rose what, what was the... Um, Harriet Tubman. Yeah, yeah. Now, then, My daughter came back about Harriet Tubman last year, you know. Can I say something? Yeah. yeah. Did you watch the Netflix... Um, um, you know I don't do Netflix like that. She, she I don't do anything. You guys, I, I told eat, you, she doesn't sleep. have cable. I, I do have Netflix. <laughs> I just literally eat, sleep, eat, sleep, work, she eat, she sleep, work, eat, she, sleep, work, she, she eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep, work. You, you, sleep, work, you know them stories there, really? Well, you had people that were young eat, at school. sleep. Yeah. Are you trying to diss yeah. our people who don't have cable? No, I'm not talking about like, oh, What are we saying here? All right, all right. What are we saying here? I was a joker. Get with it. It's a joker. It's a joker. No, but what I'm saying is this, year. You didn't watch the Harriet Tubman yet, and I want people to come back to me on this. I had a bit of trouble with that. I haven't seen it. Now, all my life, yeah, and I know this is the, this is the right source yeah, of history lesson. Like I said to you, I learned about black history through Sister Sister. Again? Oh, my God. That's what I said to you. There was a lack of it in the UK. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it yeah. was there, I won't be giving my references yeah, yeah, to Sister yeah, Sister. Yeah. And I'm sure many people that might have watched Sister Sister may have seen a particular episode yeah. Yeah, where they did an episode about black people in history mm-hmm. and 
what my understanding has always been about Harriet Tubman was that she made the um the hair the hair product that made black people's hair grow okay. healthy etc etc yeah. but when this Netflix thing came out yeah how about it busted my bubble why they're telling me she stole it oh did she hmm I've got to go through history and see now I don't know if whoever directed it was oh, telling God. the real truth yeah but I the, hope they wouldn't lie about something like that I don't think they'll lie about it but that's the film that came out and the film I don't know if anybody else watched it yeah like it was just like she it she didn't literally create it and I was just like oh man that oh, kind of wow. like sunk me right I was put off with the whole film because all these years I've been walking around saying she created this she created that blah 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 and now I get to hear that she stole it from is it, is it a mixed race woman is it right to say mixed race on air can yeah, I say mixed dual race? Heritage, mixed dual race. heritage, mixed heritage, mixed yeah. heritage. Guys, you know, I'm just learning these things. Don't sue me. <laughs> I ain't got no money. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what I learned. And I just thought to myself, wow. That's all we had. I don't know. Like I said, I, I haven't watched the film. And this is so. why it's important, yeah. For Like, okay, I've got to agree with you. You keep talking about Stormzy and people that are making differences, mm -hmm. yeah. Real and differences. Real differences. It's important to uphold those people in our communities. Uh -huh. Yeah, and say that, okay, you're doing John this. John Boyega. Yeah. Hey John. Even Sideman. Sideman, he's a guy on Instagram. I don't know this guy, but if you got Insta, go and follow him. He's done so much. Sideman daily or just Sideman? I don't know who he is, but I'm not on Check Instagram, so yeah. I, I, I'm going to try and get back on Instagram real soon. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, you know, so guys, the challenge was, or the challenge is, um, can you get back to us with the, for this month, with role, role models? They don't have to be... Actually, I want them to be from histori historical. I do. I want them to be British as yeah. well. Okay. Michelle wants them to be British as well. Not not British, sorry, but that, that influenced Britain. Britain as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the influenced Britain. We've got America's... And I also yeah. want to know your own role models and your own communities. Mm, yeah? Mm. Because let me tell you something, yeah? It's not only black people that have made history for black people. Yeah, yeah. Can I say that I have, And we've said this before. We said yeah. this earlier on about... I have like about two or three white females who are fighting our fight as yeah. black British females. Yeah. I think I think they're feminists as well, but yeah. they are going hard for us. Yeah. And I it, love to if see If there's it, people in your you know, community that are of different uh, different different race, mm. big them up. Send them send their pictures into the inbox. Yeah. Let us yeah. know what you guys are doing in the community. Let us know what you're doing at schools. Let us know what your kids are doing at school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let us know if your schools are doing anything because you know i'll be up in it <laughs> i'm joking yeah but guys thank you once again yeah, thank it's you. been it's been wonderful coffee morning laughter continues and go out there do the research black history month let's make it count it's more than a month it should be more than a month yeah it is more because than a month. i am black every day uh, so am i yeah, yeah. And we all have black colleagues, black family, black and friends. representation matters. Matters, yeah. Guys, yeah. we love you. Take care. Thank Bye. you. Bye.